In this video, we are going to talk about how to believe in yourself, build confidence, so before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. When it comes to success, nothing is more important and influential than self-confidence and belief in oneself. In fact, if we want to be successful, self-belief is more important than intelligence, talent, background, or just about anything else. In addition to this, people who have self-confidence and believe in themselves are healthier, happier, have better relationships, and are more motivated and resilient. All of us have made mistakes, experienced failure, and felt disappointment in our lives. I know I certainly have had more than my fair share. Some of us have also been subjected to hardships and injustices. All these experiences affect a person's self-confidence and faith in his or her own abilities. Fortunately, there are ways to develop a strong self-belief even though it does require some time and effort. It is important to remember that our past does not have to dictate our future. The only thing that matters is how we act today. Here's the description of how to believe in yourself, build confidence, let's start. Number 10. Change or adopt a small habit. Habits are powerful and play a huge part in determining who we are and the type of person we will become. I learned this many years ago and since then have made numerous habit changes. For example, when I wake up in the morning, I adopted the habits of drinking a glass of water, making myself a cup of green tea, reading something positive, meditating, and then heading to the gym. I made these changes slowly but they have had a cumulative positive effect on my life. Pick one habit you would like to change or adopt and start today. You could start flossing your teeth twice a day, eating a piece of fruit in the morning, sleeping and waking up early, reading 25 pages of a book each day, watching less TV, etc. Small changes lead to big changes. More importantly, when you change or adopt a good habit, your self-confidence grows because you learn that you have what it takes to take positive action. Number 9. Do your homework and prepare. One way to overcome a lack of self-confidence is to prepare diligently. For example, let's say that you lack the confidence to give a speech. What will help bolster your confidence is doing your homework by researching your topic, practicing in front of a mirror, and rehearsing in front of a small number of trusted friends or family members who support you. All too often, when we lack the confidence that we can achieve something we want, we become paralyzed and do not even make the effort to prepare ourselves. Practice and preparation go a long way in helping you to build confidence in your abilities. Number 8. Celebrate the wins slash give yourself credit. When you take small steps and accomplish small wins, celebrate them. If you walked for 5 minutes today, celebrate it and give yourself credit. If you successfully wrote 2 pages of your novel, celebrate it. If you ate 100 calories less today than you normally do, celebrate it. If you meditated for 3 minutes this morning, celebrate it. Focus on what you accomplished rather than what you did not. Keep a success journal and write in it every day. List the small victories you experienced and feel good about yourself. You deserve it. This is a very powerful habit that will help to change your mindset and give you confidence. Number 7. Think of a fear you have overcome. When we lack confidence and self-belief, we become fearful that we are not good enough or worthy enough. We fear the consequences associated with failing so we do not try. This fear can be paralyzing as we all know. In order to counteract this fear, think of the times when you were scared of doing something but did it anyway and were successful. It could be the first time you dived into a pool, or when you asked someone out on a date, or the time you acted in a school play or played a musical instrument in front of a small audience. This might seem trivial, but write these instances down. We all have the ability to overcome fear. Number 6. Connect confidence to your goals. Why is learning how to gain confidence important to you? Do you present at conventions where you interact with a huge number of people? Do you run a company or a team and need to present a strong sense of leadership? Maybe you've started dating and want to make a good impression when you meet a potential new love interest. The first step is knowing the purpose behind why you want to achieve it. Once you know your purpose, learning how to build confidence becomes a matter of retraining your brain. Number 5. Take tiny steps and make small changes. 
Many of us look too far into the future and forget that a journey starts with the first step. When we take tiny steps and make small changes in our lives, we slowly start to believe in our ability to take action. If you want to lose 40 pounds, start small by reducing your food intake by 100 calories every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, for example. If you want to get in shape and exercise 5 days a week, start walking briskly for 5 minutes 3 times per week. If you want to read 50 books a year, start by reading for 5 minutes each day. The point is to do small actions which you can slowly increase over time. When you do this, you start to realize that you are capable and you begin to bolster your self-confidence. The worst thing to do is to take no action at all. Number 4. Conquer your limiting beliefs. Without self-love, people unconsciously adopt limiting beliefs about what they are capable of or what type of relationship they deserve. This leads to self-sabotage and reinforcement of these beliefs, and overcoming them is the first step to total confidence. Ask yourself, what are the beliefs that are causing your lack of confidence in the first place? Negative emotions like self-doubt or anxiety are deeply connected to the opinions we have of ourselves based on our life experiences. They're your brain telling you that it's time to examine these limiting beliefs and replace them with empowering ones. Number 3. Question your current negative beliefs and replace them with positive ones. One factor that determines our level of self-confidence is our beliefs. Many people with low self-confidence hold limiting beliefs that are not based on reality. For example, you might believe that nobody likes you when, in actual fact, there are many people who love you and cherish your company. Or you might believe that you are terrible at math when, in actuality, you did not try that hard in math class or had a teacher that was not effective. Or you hold the belief that you are not good at running your own business when you have never really tried. Take the time to write down your limiting beliefs and question their accuracy. Just as people once believed that the world was flat, acknowledge that many of your limiting beliefs are flat out wrong. Be honest with yourself and look for evidence that disproves your beliefs. Then substitute your beliefs with empowering ones that are based on truth. Review these beliefs often until they become part of your new belief system. Number 2. Practice self-love. To truly learn how to be confident, you need to love yourself first. When you fall in love with yourself, you'll have confidence no matter what happens in life, because that confidence will come from within. To master the art of self-confidence, first master the arts of self-awareness and self-love. Determine your values and be proud of them. Embrace your strengths and weaknesses equally. That doesn't mean you can't work on those weaknesses. It's about appreciating who you are and what makes you different from everyone else on the planet. When you start questioning your self-belief, remember to love yourself first. Number 1. List your past successes and accomplishments. Most of us are unduly hard on ourselves. We tend to recall our mistakes and failures more than our successes. Sure, we have fallen short and blundered as everyone has at one point. But we also have managed to overcome difficult situations successfully and accomplish things that we can be proud of. We tend to focus on our shortcomings rather than what we have achieved. Make a list of all the things you have achieved in your life, both big and small. You will be surprised how many things you have accomplished that you overlook and do not give yourself credit for. Even more effective, add accomplishments to your list every day or every week and read it often. You are more capable than you realize. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.